A U.S. missile target is launched over the Atlantic Ocean in late March as part of U.S. Navy Carrier Strike Group tactical training. The launch takes place from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. The NASA Wallops Facility is normally used for tracking rocket launches over the Atlantic, but it also has a ship self-defense facility as part of the U.S. Navy's Surface Combat System Center. The GQM-163A Coyote supersonic target initially launches at an elevated angle and the video then shows it coming down into its sea skimming cruise phase where it travels at over Mach 2.5 only 30 feet above the water. Travelling at this height gives any ships being targeted minimum reaction time. Off the coast are two US warships from Carrier Strike Group 2 which is led by Nimitz class aircraft carrier USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. One of the ships is USS Mason, an Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer which in 2016 successfully defeated multiple anti-ship missile attacks off the coast of Yemen. The other is Ticonderoga class guided missile cruiser USS Philippine Sea similar to the USS Monterey seen here in 2016. Both ships launch standard missile 2s referred to as SM2s. The missiles are controlled by an Aegis combat system which is an advanced command and decision system capable of tracking and engaging multiple targets. The Ticonderoga cruiser has over 120 missile launch cells on its deck. The video is believed to show two SM2 missiles exploding in proximity to the Kaiti target and then the target being knocked off course and eventually exploding. Both ships were taking part in surface warfare advanced tactical training known as SWAT. This is the US Navy's premier advanced tactical training exercise. 